What's up guys, Sound Alchemist here with Gershwan! And we're back at it again answering your questions in another episode of For the Greater. Yeah. And Gersh, tell them what it is. So this is a video series where you ask questions, we answer them about Warhammer 40k or just about pretty much anything um, in, in the world that you want us to answer. You have questions about the Loch Ness Monster, he's real. You got questions about Bigfoot, he's not real. Uh, but the Yeti is. Ask away. This question comes from Puff Keltit. Can or could the Eldar reproduce together with humans? Are there any other races that can interbreed in between each other? So, yes. Maybe not canon. It, well, I don't know if it's canon or not, but this book right here, the Eldar Codex. In that second edition? Yes. Of second edition has... Let's see if I can find him. He has a. There's a guy that what that is half human, half uh, Eldar. Half human, half Eldar hybrids. But yeah, basically yes, the humans and um, Eldar were able to reproduce. Currently, it is said that humans and Eldar are off of two different evolutionary um, path Paths. chains or whatever. Uh, so much so that they wouldn't be able to interbreed. Um, but according to this book, they did. I'm not going to be able to find it. Yeah, if I remember correctly, he was supposed to be like a really strong psyker. Um, and he was like destined for big things. But apparently not big enough because GW was like, eh, no. Cut you off, yeah. Yeah. So, what other races um, could interbreed? Tyranids interbreed with everybody. And that's what a gene stealer is. Like, yeah. they will... Inseminate whoever with a seed of tyranny. That's right. Grossness. <laughs> um, the Kroot kind of do it. Uh, they eat dead enemies and they gain some traits. Um, now they do it's have some. Kind of like sex. Yeah, kind of. Because you eat and then you kind of get some. <laughs> but anyway, it's like selective eating because they are not allowed to eat Tau and they're not allowed to eat Tyranids because it like messes with their biology. Mm -hmm. Now they don't eat Tau because of uh, brainwashing. <laughs> Now, can Tao interbreed with humans? No. One have hooves and the other one don't. And I'm not talking about the feet. Oh. Okay. Uh, good question, though. Uh, again, if you have any questions, put question in front of your question, because that's what we get to first. I don't remember if I mentioned that already. Next question. Michael Bizon444. Dear One Mind Syndicate. That's us. Why does it hurt when I pee? Because you're in love with a stripper, that's why. That's right. They are horrible, hor horrible uh, Nurgle worshippers. Mm -hmm. They're kind of on that border between Slanesh and Nurgle. They can't pick a side. Mm -hmm. So what happens is herpes, gonorrhea, gingivitis, it's just... Yeah. yeah. Now that I think about it, Nurgle, Slanesh, Nurgesh, Garsh... I think I find, found out a little too much. That's why you were sick for so long. Mm -hmm. I was uh, eaten out of the wrong... It's <laughs> <laughs> really gay. It is very. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mike LMS20. Do you think... And, uh, do you think our angry border uh, psychotic friends were going to be canon? Uh, da, 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 da. Would you guys play them just for the memes? Uh, angry Marines? Yeah, actually, yeah. I We should create like a Angry Marine small little chapter. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool having like chairs and mm -hmm. power boots. Mm -hmm. Triggering everybody we play against. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll end up beat up and whatnot, but... And we don't really do battle reports much, but... <laughs> Next question. This one's by Run Aziel Run. Has there ever been anybody to repent from chaos? Is it even possible to remove the taint of chaos? Or is killing them the only way? Most of the time, yes, killing is the only way, but there are those select few that have been possessed by demons, mm -hmm. and they have been able to take the demons out. They're called the Illuminati. We have a 40 facts on the Illuminati. Um, check it out. It talks about the Star Child, and it talks about an entire series that isn't uh, canon anymore. <laughs> right. But, yeah. Um, Go waste your time with that. <laughs> No, but it's really cool to find out that, yes, there have been citizens that have been possessed by demons, and they were able to push those demons out. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And there's also the Exorcist chapter of Space Marine. 
um, they are only made up of people that have gone through that whole process. So, yeah. Which is pretty legit, because that means there's a lot. Uh, Dragon Punch 903. Are all demon princes equal in strength? For example, are corn demon princes just as powerful as the Nurgle ones? Nope. Yes and no. Why not? Uh, they're not be well. So in order to become a demon prince, you have to be a person of skill to that particular god. And just like all, all characters of Warhammer 40k, they have different power levels, like Vegeta and Kakarot. That's right. So yeah. Yeah, and I was gonna say yes, but in their own different ways. So, for example, a demon prince of Korn would be stronger in close combat than a demon prince of Zeech, which would be stronger in magic. So, it would be like Goldberg versus the Undertaker. Really cool fight, but at the end of the day, the Undertaker wins. <laughs> he always wins. Even when he's losing, he's winning. <laughs> uh, or, I guess, for people that don't follow World Wrestling Entertainment, um, Conor McGregor, or what's that other guy? The black guy? Uh, Mayweather? Mayweather. Mayweather's gonna win. Is he though? Yeah, he is. <laughs> uh, all Might. Would you rather have all the knowledge of the universe given to you by Zinch, but there would be nothing you could do to alter it or alter a single event in your past, but not know the effects of that change? It could end worse. That's a really good question. Very thought-provoking. Very, very. I just hit my glasses. Very, very <laughs> thought-provoking. What's your, what's your decision? I, I, right off the bat, I want to say knowing all everything that's gonna happen, but at the same time, that's kind of like, it's like here's everything you ever wanted, and it's like dangling right in front of you, but there's nothing you can do to reach it. I feel like that'd be worse, but at the same time, changing something and not knowing what effects, like it could end up worse. You could end up dead. You could end up having the situation turn way worse I'm gonna have to pick the first one I'd rather know everything and not be able to do a thing about it yeah um, I would do the second one I would rather change something and then um, not know what's gonna happen because that's where I'm at right now <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow I can we can come back to to work and your work is done you're you, yeah fired yeah or you can die in a car crash tomorrow but at least I know I changed something in my past. <laughs> but maybe that change is what caused that car accident. Mm -hmm. So in a way, you're screwing yourself over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it can happen right now. Right. It's like, oh, I can know Grish is going to die in that car accident because he went back in time and changed it. But Can't do anything about nope. it. Mm -mm. <laughs> um, good question. This next one is by Miko Hernborg. If One Mind Syndicate was a Space Marine chapter, what would you guys want to be? Space Marine chapter master, chaplain, librarian, tech marine, apothecary, or something else? Chaplain for me. I've always thought the uh, librarians were pretty cool. Although it kind of sucks to be a psyker, but uh, I'd stick with librarian. Yeah. Very powerful. The Camel. Can the Eldar Farseers see why kids love the taste of Cinnamon Toast Crunch? <laughs> Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Oh, uh, this next one is by Chaos Poseidon. Who is your favorite Warhammer fantasy character? Not including the Age of Garbage ones. Damn. Where's Salt Bay at? <laughs> um, I don't know too much about Warhammer fantasy. We, we're not going to start with the lore until like this week. Um, but my guess is going to be some type of Skaven overlord or something. Yeah, same here. I'm not too... Uh, I'm not too keen on the lore behind it, but I do like the Sylvaneth, although I'm not sure if they were in fantasy, maybe they're just an Age of Sigmar thing. Uh, Vincent? Oh, no, that's not a question. Uh, Tybald. Since Nurgle is all about rot and decay, and all of his creation slash followers are full of it, why are they not dying? Is Nurgle power consistently building them up while they are rotting? Yeah. Yeah. They're, so they're... You fight the rot, and that feeds Nurgle. Um, kind of like people who overcome some type of illness, and then they run 5Ks. <laughs> they, they're stronger because of the illness, and that feeds Nurgle. Right. Even though, even like, the least bit of survival feeds Nurgle. Yeah. Hypervolemic Potato. 
If the Emperor knew Angron was an unstable, angry mess with little self-control and leadership skills, why did he think that it would be a good idea to give him power armor and an army? Well, first of all, you gotta have fire to fight with fire. Um, if there was a crazy, you know, army that was berserkers, um, you could use tactics, but sometimes tactics won't work, so Angron would be the, uh, the brute. Think of him as the Hulk. When all else fails, drop the Hulk. Mm -hmm. And uh, his tactics actually scared a lot of uh, empires into forfeiting, even before a fight even commenced. It's like, oh no, the word bearers are coming. Let's uh, give up. We don't want to die horribly. Yep. So, Decades JK. How do Chaos Space Marines replenish the Marine ranks? Um, they send out raids into the Imperium to take neophytes. Um, they have gene stock that they steal. And um, they're constantly converting other Space Marines. That's right. Uh, corrupting other Space Marines. That's what the Soul Dreamers are. Next up is Gareth Basobas. Question. Well, more like a story. I recently had a dream where the Sound Alchemist left the channel to join the Navy and Gersh held a contest on who would become the new host. The winner of the contest was a transgender guy who was for the most part cool, but during every For the Greater Wa, he'd get more and more touchy-feely with Gersh until one video revealed that the host was indeed a Slaneshi demon in disguise and that he was trying to corrupt all of the viewers. Then the Sound Alchemist came bursting through the wall with dual bolters and gunned down the demon. Also, why do you guys keep appearing in my dreams? <laughs> yeah, you have really good dreams. Yeah, I wish I could dream like that. Yeah, um, that's exactly what would happen if the Sound Alchemist were ever to leave off to the Navy. I would hold a contest to see who the next host would be. It could be you. Mm -hmm. If you're a Slaneshi demon, that is. But I really like that story, and I need to uh, get a hold of some animators and animate that whole story. I'd, I'd watch that. Especially the transgender um, <laughs> attacking me part. Uh, <laughs> um, you put that on repeat. Simaris Integra. Integra. Uh, you once said that the first legion all had particular roles. What are the roles of those legions? So... Uh, if you watch part one of each individual um, first founding legion lore, it tells you. But okay, we're gonna try to do a quick synopsis. Uh, <laughs> Lorgar and his word bearers are the imperial heralds, so they're the people that would try to bring imperial compliance to those who um, uh, were like, uh, what do they call it? Religious? Right. Yeah. Angron was just the savage uh, guy. Yeah, he, he, he. Whenever you need something with just pure, relentless force, force. like the orcs, close combat. That's what you call upon. Uh, Imperial. Damn, we have to do all of them. <laughs> uh, so Alpha Alpha Legion is like CIA, FBI type of shit. Mm -hmm. um, Raven Guard are like your assault infantry. They're they're the guys that would um, be there to squash any rebellion right off the bat. They're just quick, you go in, go out, take out the leader. Uh, Ultramarines were like your uh, goal accomplishers. They were the ones who were the spearhead of the, um, whatever, that, the campaign. Right. Who am I missing? I've always had the five. The Salamanders. The Salamanders were the black, token black guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the White Scars, token, token Asians. Asians. Um, the Blood Angels. They're your uh, pretty boys. Your, uh, your Twilight fans. Mm -hmm. And um, who else? You got the Imperial Fists. got the Ultramarines. You got the uh, Iron Warriors, mm -hmm. which are your pickup crew. Uh, they're the ones that like call, get called upon when things need to get broke. Um, you got the Iron Hands, which are all about machines. Mm -hmm. Technological advancements. Even though they're... Uh, the crime mark was like flesh over machinery, but they got it mixed up. But it's that balance. Yeah. Uh, Fulgrim and his uh, Emperor's Children. All about perfection. Making everything look good. 
Um, they're like the media side of the war. <laughs> yeah. Um, Thousand Sons, Psychers. Right. Abaddon. Who's Abaddon? That's the spoiler. Or, oh no, I mean Horus. Oh. Sorry. Horus is just like your your leader. That he's your uh, what is it called? Your your SEAL Team Six and your uh, Green Berets and your uh, Navy SEALs. Guys, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah. yeah. I think that's all that's of them. It. Yeah. I hope that helped. <laughs> uh, I, next question. Uh, question. Plomo or plata? Oh. Plomo all <laughs> yeah, the way. Plomo all the way. <laughs> Dragon Punch 903. Are all the damn? No, nope, we already answered that one. Red Asylum. Why am I first? Because you are Red Asylum. Uh... Deshaun Fragna Fragnani, why do you guys not notice me? We just noticed you. Did we though? Damn. Shade, <laughs> shade, shade. shade. Um, the livid. Can someone, psychers, feel the presence of Tyranid Gene Stealer cults? Like they notice the shadow and the warp thing. Yeah, I, th yeah, I think so. They would, they would, they would sense a dif disturbance in the force. Mm -hmm. Their spider sense would be tingling. I like the sound. Oh, he has three questions. Sorry. Oh. I like the sound alchemist's new haircut, but is it sound as it? But is it sound as it noise, or is it sound as in safe and sound? <laughs> That's a very good question, and the answer is up to you guys to decide. <laughs> <laughs> Could a space marine become a woman through warp taint, aka grow a vagina, tits, and lose lose his war hammer? First of all, that does not make you a woman. Gender inequalities, I'm getting triggered, guys. Next question. Okay. Uh, Daniel DePita. How do you think Abaddon, a.k.a. Phaladon, the useless, will respond to the return of the Primarchs? Will the return of the Primarchs force Phaladon to launch a new Black Crusade? For forfeity? Forfeity the Eye of Terror? Forfeit. Fortify. Fortify. Whoa, I can't read. The Eye of Terror, etc. What do you guys think? I would love to hear your thoughts on the matter. Um, I don't care. Next. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think he's going to see this as a challenge. He's going to be like, oh, you know, a Primarch, if I kill him, maybe he will finally attain demonhood? Who knows? But yeah, I think he'll see it as a challenge and he'll start another crusade. Yep. And those were the questions for this week. Thank you for sending them our way. If you guys have any more questions, don't forget to put a question in front of your questions so we can answer them next week. That's right. Um, and don't forget, we have Patreon-exclusive videos for all you guys. So a simple dollar a month helps us create more videos for you. Check That's it right. out. Also, head on over to the Facebook page where sometimes we do sneak giveaways. <laughs> and we do uh, rumors and sneak previews and all that stuff. So fun times there. Very fun. As always, I am the Sound Alchemist. Gersh1. We are One Mind Syndicate, signing out.